As we prepare for the new year, a theme that we often hear is about fitness mm -hmm. and getting your life together in that way. But really, financial fitness is also important, and our next guest is here to help us with that. He's a longtime friend of the show. Andy Mattingly from Forum Credit Union is here with today's Smart Money Minute. Take a look at this. Welcome back. Our friend Andy Mattingly is here from Forum Credit Union. He is teaching us how all of us can make a top 10 list of this year's past financial lessons so that we can be ready for 2024. Hi, Andy. Great to be here today. Good to have you. Yeah, great, great resources and tips. And might I say free tips as well if you're watching right now on any now. So Andy, let's dive in. I love this, this concept. It's very David Letterman. Yes, yes a top yeah. 10 exactly. list. What is the value of making a top 10 list of our year financially? Well, you know, on this top 10 list, you should think about the good things you've done, the things that maybe aren't so good, and the maybe the things that you never want to do again. <laughs> so, you know, you want to put that list together because that's how you can decide what your resolution should be for next mm. year and that you can have a better year in the coming year. So okay. you kind of need to know what you've done to know what you need to do to be better. So mm -hmm. good and not so good. Yeah. Okay. Gathering the data and yeah. reviewing some financial habits. How much time do you think this would take? Should we allocate this? I, I don't think this could take, doesn't have to take a lot of time. Okay. Maybe yeah. less than an hour. Yeah. Yeah. because if you're really honest with yourself, you can get to this pretty quick. Okay, Ooh, cool. That's good. So what are some of the maybe the data points people would need? Yeah, you know, probably your credit score. A lot of it's going to depend upon where you are in life, but your credit score, maybe your retirement balances, yeah. how much debt you have, okay. you know, some of those basic things, maybe just a couple of months worth of your credit card statements, um, your account history, so you can kind of see what your purchasing history would be. That's pretty much all you're really going to need to kind of come up with a good top 10 list. Okay. All right. And we saw some of those moves that we should be making. Yeah. What might be the most difficult area for someone to have a really true review of, Andy? Well, it's going to be that self um, criticism of yourself, looking at your financial habits, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, did I comparison shop? Did I use discounts? Did I, you know, avoid impulse buys? All of those things are going to be things that you kind of need to review and say if you're doing a good job. Now, remember, this is like when you audit a class, it's like pass fail. It's yeah. not, oh, I did A or I did a, you know, D work. Yeah. What, like either you did it or you didn't do sure. it, right? Yeah. So it's kind of easy to do. You don't have to grade yourself. It's just that I do it or I didn't do it. But that's going to be the most difficult because none of us like to evaluate. We all do everything great, right? Yeah. So you have to kind of <laughs> dig in and be honest with yourself. You have okay. to be honest with yourself, self-aware. So are there any important moves that we should have on our list? Yeah, I, if you have these three moves on your list every year, you're always going to be improved. One, that you're making all your decisions based off of a budget. We talk okay. about a budget a lot, so yeah. if you can put that yeah. on, that's yes. great. Two, that you didn't live beyond your means, you know, extend your debt or anything like that. And the, and the third one then is that you do practice good financial habits. Mm. If you can put those three on your list every year, everything else that's on there is probably going to be more good things than there are things that aren't so good. Yeah, and if you don't have a budget or if you're having trouble living within your means or accomplishing those goals, Forum Credit Union is a fantastic organization where you can connect. So forumcu.com is where you can learn more about where your local branch is and follow them on social as well. Always putting out great resources. Andy, this is a really fun topic. So thank yes. you so much for sharing it with thank us. And you. Thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, thank you, you for helping us start out the new year feeling good about our finances. Exactly. We appreciate you. All the exactly. information is right there on the screen. One more Indy Now coming up right after this.